Hello, hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia McNeely, located in Chicago, Illinois. I got to talk to you about a dream I had last night. In this dream, there were a lot of women and the women were waiting for things like rides. It's almost like it was like a carnival festival, but they were on the outer edges of it and they were waiting for rides. And there was one pervasive thing that I could feel. They were so angry and particularly they were angry at men and i think that this is so, all i always get these dreams to let me know what's happening throughout the collective and by the collective i mean humanity this time not a little segment of you know twin flame landia i mean a lot of people why is this why is this well it has to do with the energies that we're in, it can't stay lingering in people's bodies. It is going to be expressed. It's going to be expressed in a lot of weird ways. Ways that it will even surprise the people themselves who are expressing their angers and their hatreds. They're going to feel like it's so out of character for them. It doesn't align with them, but yet there it is. I want to Give a word of caution here. Be very careful about who you're triggering, who you're provoking. You may not know the stress that they're under. Be very careful about yourself, you know, and what you're acting on. Don't be foolish. You didn't ascend to be foolish. You didn't get activated to be foolish. Okay? So uh, another thing is, do not ever let anyone destroy you. If you feel that someone is being a narcissist with you, they are provoking you, they're keeping you off balance, that is not love. I'll be very clear, that is not love. Doesn't matter what your mind wants to think about it or how hot they are, it's in the actions and it's in the energy. It is not in, like, the mind. So... Today I'm going to talk about the 1111 Gateway Portal, which also in the United States happens to be Veterans Day. Now this day can carry a lot of emotions. This energy is carrying a lot of emotions, but this is about Saturn return. Now whether or not you really follow astrology, I'm going to break it down for you and make it very twin flamey for you. Saturn is that masculine energy that kind of brings order to the structure, okay? Order to the chaos, structure, reorganization, and it's an energetic. It's not always men, which is why sometimes men will fail, and they fail us, and they get overwhelmed with emotion too. Now, here's how you know. Do you feel like you're struggling and you need masculine support. You feel like reaching out to any man you've ever known. Your brother, your dad, your uncles, your exes, your spouse, and they are not coming up to par for you. Okay, but the feeling is there. You're like, I'm going to reach out for a man. A lot of people do that. A lot of people go down memory lane and they're like, oh, I remember my ex. I'll just reach out to them, see how they're doing. No, you're actually seeking masculine support from the wrong department. Eh. Please don't do that. Don't fall into that temptation. Are you trying to fix your relationship to anyone that you know who is a man? Okay, this is the energy that is very conducive to it. They won't know, but you will because you're activated and you're watching this. So let me tell you some of the things that Saturn is good for, Saturn energy, the um, high divine. These are aspects of high divine electric masculine energy, not men, okay, because men aren't perfect. They're human beings. This is up in the level where the perfection is and it can funnel down through. So... This is law and order, and sometimes the pendulum swings this way, if, as we've seen in certain countries. It's gotten liberal, or it's gotten very lax and loose, and now it's swinging the other way. We have to find the middle ground. How do you do that in your personal relationships? How do you not be the hammer, and you don't be the feather so that you're so light, 
you have to use your feminine energy to feel what is appropriate for the situation. Are you the hammer with your children? Did you have the hammer come down on you? Are you litigious? Are you vindictive? Are you retaliatory? I mean, these are all negative aspects of that electric masculine energy. It's gotten distorted and corrupted throughout centuries and honestly through eons of time. So bringing law and order to things, having people naturally feel their own moral compass, what's right, what's wrong, should they, shouldn't they, stopping with like the little, you know, obfuscations of the truth, all of those subtle things that amount to smoke and mirrors. You're being deceived. Yes, you know that. Or as one of my guides would say, you are being deceived. And you might be deceiving yourself. Like, are you believing something without seeing the full picture? Some people cannot see the scope of history and maybe they didn't have a lot of history. Maybe they don't like history. Maybe they were like, oh, ho, hum, you know, more European history, the Crusades. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm so bored. I want to go to woodshop now. Okay, but this is the stuff that shed blood everywhere. This is where we're talking about. Where have the men had to shed their blood? Where have the women had to shed their blood? What places do you feel tied to? Okay. The next thing, bringing about a balanced electric masculine. What is a balanced electric masculine? A balanced electric masculine knows when they have their limits knows when they need to incorporate the other side of themselves, the feminine. That does not mean go bake a casserole. That means soften the edges. Don't be the hammer. Tune into the situation. Tune into your child. Okay? A lot of people erroneously believe that, you know, they need to keep discipline without having their own self-discipline. Okay? If you can't hold yourself and catch your triggers and really see, like, really see how you are, it's time to take that pause. So we're in a time right now where I highly recommend hit the pause button, pause, pause, okay? How do you get to a, a balanced electric masculine? Now, here's another thing. You're going to be with your twin flame, the real twin flame who is the other half of you. You're not bringing any of those old relationship dynamics into your union, your unified selves. Okay, union means unified selves. Because even when people live together, they forget to do this work. And then they veer off and then the relationship falls into the water and gets emotional and every nobody's balanced. Nobody's balanced. Because they go back to old patterns. And those old patterns can really perpetuate old bad habits, bad habits. What else is about the Saturn return? Well, we're talking about financial focus. Have you tried to buy a house lately? Have you tried to look at what interest rates are at? Do you have a business? You have to borrow money. Are you working for a place and they've had to borrow money and now the interest rates are jacked up? It's happening everywhere. And it's a really odd time of year because you've had the whole year. You could do a year review and you're going to find that now that we're at the end of the year, what have you accomplished? Okay. Finances are a part of your health because they keep your emotions healthy. They keep your mind healthy. They can keep your heart healthy because it's not the money that makes happiness. It's what people can do with the money to make their life comfortable, to get their needs met, to be generous. Many times we would love to be more generous than we can actually be because we have to be thrifty and frugal and it's just not there. There is always a time on your twin flame journey where you will go through a patch of financial penury and that's going to be tough and I highly recommend Work with me because getting your light body engaged, there's a reason for it. Through these portals, through these pushy energies, it's like shoving something forward and then unhooking it. You're being unhooked from the old levels, 
okay because those old levels are down here and you need to be here so you need to reconnect up here so a financial focus maybe that's not for you right now but it will be at some point because a financial focus is sometimes what is your next level of generosity generosity to yourself your loved ones other people other people on the planet would you like to donate would you like to create something okay a lot of us have this impulse i want to help humanity but i hate people okay but this is part of the reason it's how it's gotten corrupted the corruptions of our beautiful pure heart energy you're getting back to that purity when you stick with me you begin to feel it and you get in the flow okay so watch my videos like and subscribe and join the classes join the groups now your personal relationships i'm going to tell you something and i've said this again and again and again in my groups angels bite back okay we sometimes don't just bare our teeth like abused people and the magnetic magnetic masculine magnetic feminine magnetic feminine is the majority of the planet because that's what helps you hold a pregnancy should you choose or should you get pregnant and then it's your decision but that energy is what is making it conducive but there's also a lot of backstabbing that happens to the magnetic they get put upon by electric you know it's like eh, 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 and then uh, 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 you know get your knives out of my back right in your personal relationships you need to be able to set energetic boundaries so some of the other things with this energy is boundaries okay as we're seeing if you don't mind the store people just come in almost like they're invading or like parasites do you ever have a parasite a bug in your gut lice on your hair yeah it's not fun are you supposed to live with the vermin now i'm not saying that everyone that comes in is but you need to sift and sort your soul will help you with through the integration of your light body where the right people can gravitate towards you where the right people can orbit around you and your personal relationships how do you push back how do you really get the things you want and need so let's give you an example okay we have our lovely primetime players here and they're karmic soulmates and soulmates and this is what happens oh hey um this weekend when we go to the thing um let's make sure that we're ultra thrifty okay oh man uh yeah okay um could you please limit your drinks oh uh but i gotta like have a few drinks with the guys yeah but sometimes you have 10 and then i, I wind up driving well but it's okay if you drive me yeah i'm trying to say something here would you stop beating around the bush you spend far too much money on unimportant things and then he's here thinking to himself gosh there's that really cute waitress i just want to flirt with her i want her to think i'm a big shot i want to show off i want to treat my friends i want i want i want and she's thinking what is he thinking we have to pay for braces for our child this is like happening every weekend and he's like just not paying attention and so what do you have you have a lot of tensions you have emotional tensions they're not having fun with each other they are not listening to each other they can't feel each other they cannot even abide by what is necessary for the family they are not providing a cohesive thing even though on the surface to all their friends they look like they're just having a dandy old time right this is how it occurs with twin flames whether or not you're together and when you're together you better be doing this but if you're not you can still do it using my modality I feel that we need to create more abundance, more money, because our child is in need. Our child needs something. 
And what you have to learn how to do is merge yourself with your higher energy so that you are a unified couple and it flows through you. It comes down from the yous that are up here down into the physical level. They don't know. Their minds are not going to even know how this is going to happen or get created. However, you don't take things on blind faith. When you begin opening not only your third eye, but your other senses, you begin to see the way, the how, you know? So what else can you do? Why do these things happen? Because you're supposed to get out of karma, period. You're not supposed to repeat karma. You're not supposed to get angry and afraid and upset. And that's natural. You have parts of you because those are your alarm bells. If you're not getting angry over something, that's a red flag sometimes. But we're talking about mild anger, mild things. If you are raging, rampaging, being an idiot, then you need, you need a lot of this help, okay? If you are like doing things, that amounts to self-sabotage. Please don't go there. So what do you do? You begin to use your breath, your cells, your new twin flame body, your brand new light body. You have a brand new light body to help you, not your mind. Your mind is limited. So this is what is meant when people say, I don't know how, okay? <laughs> You need to not surrender, but allow, and you need to work the process, not just trust the process, to alter your trajectory. Now, how do you do that? Just join, join. I'm doing something for the new moon, which is going to include this 11, the 11th hour energy. <laughs> I hate to say it that way. It can feel like that, where it's like, oh my God, another year over. It's almost the end of the year. The holidays are coming and then there's next year and there's New Year's and oh my God, right? A lot of us do that, right? I do it too. I'm like going, oh my God, I better do this or that. Join. Start doing it the right way. New relationships and twin flames. So starting on the 19th, I have a four part where we are going to talk about relationships. So if you have stuff like this going on, join. Because whether or not you're ready to leave, divorce, we want you to shift it. We want you to shift it for the better for everyone concerned, especially the children. Your children need angels like you. We can do that. If you join this, you can join on the 20th because we have Thanksgiving coming up and I'm going to do gratitude and love because if you're having trouble shifting yourself and you're really upset and you're becoming bitter and you're so angry, look, let me tell you something. Women get angry at men for all the crap that we have to do, like all of, all of it. Okay. It, it, to me, it hasn't mattered that you know, I love the men in my life as, you know, my great brothers, my son, my dad. They have another side to them. And I've had great guys that I've worked with. I've had great male friends. But the thing is, is a lot of these patterns are ingrained. They get mad at us, too. They get mad at us. They're like, why are you women thinking like that? Why don't you see it this way? Or all the women have their secrets. My brother literally just said it yesterday. So there it is. Anger, hatred. Let's flip that into love. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you there. Write me with your questions. Twin Flame Ring Connection at Gmail. Bye now.